Shalom. Before I get started with this lesson, I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakar Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth and that rule well. And peace and salutation to the elect that's out here laboring in all truth and sincerity. To you, I say Shalom. This is Brother Amawan Ariyah from GMS Charlotte. Coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Makar Kodash. And in this lesson, I want to go into how the Lord has made us into uh, physicians. Okay? We have all became physicians with this truth, man. All right? And the Lord sent us out to pretty much, you know, bring healing into our people. All right? Because as you can see, all right, Jake is sick, man. All right, like it tells you in the book of Isaiah. In fact, let me get that real quick. Isaiah chapter 1. And. <coughs> excuse me. Isaiah chapter 1 and 4. I started 3. It says, The ox knoweth his owner. And the ass his master's crib. But Israel doeth not know. My people doeth not consider. All right. And that's, you know, uh, the comparison the Lord has made uh, to the house of Israel where he compared us to two, you know, uh, dumb and stubborn animals, man. All right. Because they know who their master is. They know who clothes and feeds them. All right. But Israel, they don't consider, man. Okay. They don't, they don't even give a thought to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh man. Okay? Because our people are joined the idols, man. And they wonder why they're all messed up, man. Okay? Verse 4. A sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger, they are gone all the way backward. All right? And that's because our people are indulging into all these different, you know, idolatries, all right? They're into all these different philosophies, which is causing them to add sin unto sin, all right? And our people are destroyed because of that, man, all right? Verse 5, it says, Why should you be stricken any more? You will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick, the whole heart fate, from the, it's like, from the sole of the feet. Even to the head, there is no soundness in it, but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores. They have not been closed up, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. Our people are destroyed, man, all the way through. And that's mainly because hey, you reject your power, man. All right. You want to continue in this wicked way of living and wonder why our people are in the worst state that they have ever been. But that's mostly because... All right. This is a um, real quick slack you. Hosea chapter four and six. It says my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. All right. Because they don't know you how about Shem Yahushua. They don't know, you know, what they were put here to, uh, to be, man. All right. Which is as an Israelite. All right, you are on this earth to serve Yahweh by Shem Yahushai and to fear him, man. All right, but because our people don't know that, all right, they're destroyed. Okay, it says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no more priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. And hey, for a time, our people were forgotten, man. All right. The Lord left us to our own devices, which caused us to, you know, continue further down that uh that path of destruction till you see where Israel is the worst that they have ever been in history. All right. To where you got a, a good majority of our people that refuses to even acknowledge who they are as being Israelites, man. All right. And and some of them that know they're Israelites all right, are still, you know, waxing worse, man. All right. And that's all because they lack. The spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, like when it, like when you read in uh, Ezekiel thirty-seven, they weren't given the breath. All right, but we're in the time now to where the Lord 
has uh, he has risen up, you know, certain brothers, starting with the apostles, all right, the elders, the elder bishops on down, to come out here, and 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 bring healing to our people, which is being done through these words, man. All right, through the scriptures, man. All right, and we we are put here to bring healing unto Israel, man. All right, let me get that real quick. All right, this is Isaiah 61 and 1. The spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is upon me because thou, suck it, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance. Of our power to comfort all that mourn, right? And the Lord sent us to, to bring these words of hope unto our people, but it's only going to register in, you know, one third, all right, which is uh, pretty much the, the remnant of the believers, starting with the 144,000 prophets. But only a small number, a small remnant, all right, is going to receive the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and, and have their hope renewed, man. Because as I said, we, you know, we are sick, you know, as a people, man. All right. But the Lord sent men out here, all right, as it says, to preach good tidings. And what's the good tidings, man? The good news, man. All right. The the good news of the gospel, man. You know, about how the kingdom of heaven is coming for us, man. How Yahweh Shah, all right, who the world enemy calls Jesus. Okay. How he's coming to deliver us out of the hand of our enemy and bring us into the kingdom of heaven, man. All right. And doing so through his words. All right, we have been renewed in the spirit to where we now have had a hope established again, man. All right, because at one point our people couldn't see an end to this captivity. All right, they couldn't see a life, you know, out uh, out from under the boot of these damn devils and, and the rest of these heathen men. All right, they thought that we were just going to be slaves forever, man. All right, but the scriptures didn't tell us that that was going to be like that for our end, man. All right, the Lord said that he has an expected end for us, man. All right. And that expected in is for us to be ruling in the next kingdom to come. Okay. So that hope has been restored. But because before this word was established, all right, going back to uh to 1969, due to uh, the Lord putting the spirit on Abba Bivens to, you know, begin to teach the, uh, you know, the word again. All right. Hey, we didn't have any hope, man. We didn't have any inkling. Of things getting better for us, man. All right. Real quick. This is a, the book of Proverbs chapter 29 and 18. It says, where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. Right. And it says, where there's no vision, the people perish. Because our people didn't see anything, you know, good coming for them, man. All right. They didn't see any, you know, reason to, uh, to, to have hope. All right. Because the majority of our people still cling to the notion that who the world in recalls God and Jesus, whose true names are Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, okay, that hey, they look like so-called white men. So if you are looking for salvation from a God that is the same nation as the people that oppressed you, of course, you're not going to see anything better coming to you, man. Because here on earth, all right, you're getting your ass kicked day in and day out by the very nation that you are... are you know, being tricked into worshiping, man. So, of course, you can't see uh, things coming, you know, better for you, man. But now we have been given a reason because, as the scriptures tell you, if we obey the words of the Lord, all right, which is pretty much us keeping the law, all right, to a degree, which, hey, ultimately, when I say keeping the law, hey, the whole book is the law, man. Not just talking about the 613 commandments, man. All right. The whole law goes into the precepts, all right, the... The commands that the Lord gave us, man. Hey, having faith, that's a commandment. All right, that's the law, man. Okay? So in that, hey, happy is he because now he has been given something to work towards, man. Hey, we, are, we have all been commissioned, all right, to continue in this labor, all right, so that hey, we, could, we could receive salvation, man. All right? But unto those that, you know, haven't heard this word and then those that have heard it but don't believe it, all right, they don't have hope because their hope lies in, you know, uh, carnal means. Their hope lies in a nation that cannot save us, like it tells you in Lamentations 4 and 17, man. 
they have the whole place in any and everything but the scriptures, man. All right. So the healing that they're they're looking for is really artificial, man. All right. Because they trust in, in the things of this world, man. All right. This is Proverbs 13 and 12. It says, hope deferred maketh the heart sick. But when desire cometh, it is a tree of life, man. All right. And what do we have a desire of, of, of a world wherein dwelleth righteousness, man? Like it tells you in Second Peter. All right. We know that thanks to these uh, these scriptures that we have something to look forward to, man, beyond America, Babylon, the great, man. All right. All right. So, hey, our hope has been restored. So, therefore, we have been, you know, uh, we have been healed. Okay. Because, like I said, man, the Lord sent us out here. All right. To pretty much, you know, uh, uh, bring healing to our people, man. All right. So that we can re uh, restore hope within our people, man. Okay, this is the book of um, Matthew, chapter 9, and I'm going to start at 10. It says, And it came to pass, as Jehoshaphat sat at meat in the house, behold, many publicans and sinners came and sat down with him and his disciples. And when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto his disciples, Why eateth your master? with publicans and sinners. But when Yahweh heard that, he said unto them, They that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. It says, But go ye and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy, but not sacrifice, for I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. All right. And this goes into, all right, how, hey, the Lord is coming to, to, to bring, you know, uh, you know, uh, healing unto the sick and the brokenhearted, man. All right. Because we understand that we, you know, are worthy of death because of our inequities, man. You know, back when I was speaking about the law. All right. Hey, we're not saved by the law, man. OK, so if you are claiming that, you know, that uh, that you're, you know, going to be delivered because you keep the laws, man, then that would mean. That you're whole. That, that, that means that you don't need Yahweh Shai, man. All right. Yahweh Shai came to heal, all right, the sick and brokenhearted, man. Okay. And, and he's that physician, okay, that is bringing that healing, man. All right. And that ability has been passed on to us so that we can bring healing in the Lord's absence, man. All right. So all you, uh, all you Jake out here that's trying to, you know, thump the law on our people, man. All right. In essence, when you're doing that, you're telling the people that a hey, Yahweh Shai is not needed, okay? Because you can keep the law, but we know that it's impossible for us to keep the law 100%, man, because the scriptures tell you. Let me get it real quick. This is the book of James chapter 2 and 10. For whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all, right? So if you break one law, the ultimate, you broke all of them, man. All right? So with that being said, hey, we need Yahweh, all right, so that we can, you know, uh, have a chance at salvation. Because if, if it wasn't for Yahweh, all right, we will all be through out here, man. We will drown in our sins, man. All right? So Yahweh is coming to bring repentance unto those that are truly seeking. Okay? So, continuing on, this is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and 19. It says, If in this life only we have hope in Hamashiach, we are all, it's like we are of all men most miserable. Okay? So it says, If in this life we, in this life only we have hope and Yahweh Shai, man, okay? We are of all men most miserable because, hey, we desperately are seeking our Lord and Savior to deliver us out of this situation, all right? And, hey, at times, hey, our spirit gets weary. 
But when we, uh, you know, when we begin to feel that flesh pull on our spirit, man, hey, we tap back into the words of the Lord, all right? And, and we, you know, have, uh, we get comfort brought unto us, man, all right? That's why we do these, uh, these virtual epistles, man. This is why we go out on the highways and byways, okay? So that we can teach our people so that these words can reach, you know, the elect. So that they can be, you know, uh, they can be comforted, man, Okay? Because, hey, as the scriptures tell you, you know, uh, though it tarry, wait, wait on it, because that shall surely come. It will not tarry. But at times, you be feeling like, man, you know, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take forever, man. All right? But you got to understand that we're not on our own time, man. We're on the Lord's time, man. All right? So the prophecies are going in the, in the amount, you know, a lot of for Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shadi, you know, to do these things, man. Okay? So we, and we got to be patient. And as the scriptures tell you, in, pay, in our patience, possess ye your soul, man. All right? You got to continue to to tap into the position, all right? And, and be healed, man. Okay? This is Matthew 10 and 1. It says, but when he had called unto him his 12 disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. And that's what we have been given the ability to do. When we come out here and teach these words, man, our people are being healed. Hey, when they, when they, uh, when they hear these words, man, and when they're comforted by these words, man, all right, because that hope is being reestablished, man. Their spirit is being nursed by the, uh, by the manna. Okay, just as you have, all right, the the physical herbs, okay, of the world, all right, and when you're sick, all right. You take the herbs to bring healing unto you carnally, man. So how much more spiritually, okay? Because, hey, in this world, the Lord has given us, you know, uh, healing through the herbs, man. All right? That's why you have, you know, the whole thing with holistic healing, all right? Or what you will call homeopathic, which is the natural herbs and oils that's from the planet, all right? But our people, majority of them, they're seeking that artificial healing, which is that uh, that allopathic, okay, which is the synthetic drugs made in labs, all right, to alter your mind and body, which ultimately is sorcery, man, all right? Hey, and our people are seeking that artificial healing through these different these different doctrines, through these different philosophies, through these different things that, that fools them into thinking that they have comfort, but in the end, they're being led uh, to their destruction, man, you know? Hey, what's that scripture say? Uh, why is it not? And let me get that. <laughs> Proverbs fourteen and twelve. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. And those, you know, the scripture applies to all you. You know, that thing, you can go up another way, that you, you can, you know, pretty much, you know, do things on your own, that you don't have to follow the script that the Lord laid out for you, man. All right? The prophets are out here giving you, all right, the uh, the way, like it tells you in Isaiah 30 and 20. All right? But, hey, our people want to, you know, find out for themselves, man. They want to go their own way. All right? And that's going to end up being to their destruction, man, because the Lord gave you the blueprint. All right? He told you how, how to go. All right? And like I said, hey, the, the the true physician, all right, is is being presented to you, which is through your how about Shimmy Al Shai, man. All right. So I'm gonna get this in uh Sirach 38, and I'm gonna close out. This is Sirach 38 and 1. It says, Honor a physician with the honor due unto him for the uses which ye have of him, for the Lord have created him, right? And the Lord has created, you know, the physician for your benefit, man. All right. And like I said, each and every one of us brothers, all right, have become physicians through the spirit, man. All right. For the uses that the most High will have a use for us for, man. All right. Whether it actually be a, a physical physician, all right, who has been blessed with the knowledge of the herbs or whatever talent that you have been given. OK, that helps, you know, uh, you teach this word, man. OK. Hey, because brothers. Are, are being, you know, uh, nursed through different avenues of teaching, man. Through the history, through the uh, the Hebrew, 
the breakdowns, whatever, man. That's the talent the Lord gave you. All right. So and we honor each and every one of uh, you brothers out here that's that's doing the work, man. For the most high come of, it says for of the most high come of healing and he shall receive honor of the king. All right. So through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you know, healing is true. Healing is brought, is brought forth, man. All right. Because you can take all the herbs. All right. You use all the oils. All right. You can use all the stones, you know, the different avenues of healing. But if it if the most high doesn't want you to get healed, then you're not going to be healed, man. So true healing comes from the Lord, man. Okay. It says the king, sorry, the the skill of the physician shall lift up his head, and in the sight of great men he shall be in, in admiration, right? The skill of, of the physician shall lift up his head, which a the ultimate you know physician is Yahushai, and he's being used, okay, through the uh through the father. All right, to to bring Israel back, you know, to that uh that once righteous state that we was in, man. All right, before we fell as a nation. Okay, Yahweh Shai is, is healing us till we can be back on top again, man. Okay, and in the sight of great men, he shall be in admiration because they when when Yahweh Shai returns, all eyes will be on him, and when Israel is lifted up and put back in our right state, all right, the whole world will will uh, admire us like they once did. Okay, verse four. The Lord have created medicines out of the earth, and he that is wise will not abhor them. All right, and that's what I went into earlier about you know the the holistic, you know, and uh, homeopathic, you know, uh, healing man. Okay, the Lord gave us all the medicines that we need from the earth, man, from the seeds, man. Okay, like it tells you in Genesis, was not the water made sweet with wood, and the virtue thereof might be known, and he have given men skill. That he might be honored in his marvelous works, right? The, the Lord actually blessed brothers with the ability to uh, to use the herbs to heal. All right, that's why you see certain brothers, all right, pretty much you know being blessed to create you know different uh, healing methods through the herbs, man. It says, "Which such do if he heal men, and take up away their pains, of such do if the apothecary make a conviction, and of his works there is no end." And from him is peace over all the earth. All right. It says, my son in thy sickness, be not negligent, but pray unto the Lord and he will make thee whole. So prayer is the main part of that healing. And that goes for carnally and spiritually, man. All right. We need Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to truly fix us, man. Okay. It says, leave off from sin and order thy hands aright and cleanse thy heart from all wickedness, man. And that's how we become truly healed is by repenting and seeking the Lord fully, man. All right. Putting off the ways of wickedness and the Lord will, uh, he will deliver us and in due time, man. All right. So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I'm going to end it right here. I want to give all honor, praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Makar Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone that taught me this truth and that rule well. And peace and salutation to the elect. Until next time I say Shalom.